Hey, welcome back to Science 4th graders. We were exploring with magnets during our last rotation, so I've got a yellow and a green magnet here. Um, and they are attracting each other. And as we saw, if I turn them over so that the same poles are trying to go together, they don't go together. They actually push each other apart and only the sides that are opposite. So north and south are attracting. If I try to do north and north, they don't go together. Or south and south they don't go together they like to flip around Ooh, keep the <laughs> keep them off of my computer computers and magnets do not go well together um, so we're learning about that attractive force and today I want to show you how that force field that is a push or a pull so you saw the push or the pull which means there's a force and it as you saw it extends away from the magnet so when I try to put them together there's a force field in between these two magnets that is keeping them apart. It's pushing them apart. So that force field extends for a certain amount of time. And I've got a video here um, of how we're going to explore that. So I'm just gonna get that started on uh, going here. So um, a balance scale is how we're gonna test this out. And you guys have seen a balance scale. And there's my magnet on a post. Um, it's very similar to the one I used for the um, magic tool last week. There is no magic, it's science. So I'm putting the post onto the balance scale and um, going to put a cup, of course, in the balance scale. And then inside the cup is going to go that other magnet, the blue one there, and get the attractive force. You can see it snapped together. So that force field is going right through that thin plastic cup. And now we're going to see how strong that force is. So I'm going to add those rather heavy washers, metal washers, into the cup on the other end of the balance scale. So as that, it's getting heavier and heavier and heavier on one side um, and making the other side be pulled up, but the attractive force of the magnetic field is keeping that end together. So we're testing to see how strong, oh, and there it goes. And that was 16 washers that I was able to put in that cup before it broke the force field of those magnets being attracted to each other. So we want to see how far that force field extends. So I'm going to take two more plastic chips. They're thicker than the plastic cup. Um, and we're going to put those underneath the other cup, underneath the plastic cup. So now we've got two chips plus the plastic cup separating that force. So we're pulling the magnetic magnets further apart and we're seeing how far does that magnetic force go? Is it just as strong when it's far away um, as it is when it's up close? So I'm going to add some more washers into the cup on the side again and see how many it takes to break. Oh, there it goes. It only took five washers this time. So last time 16 when they were closer together. Now it, it, the force broke with only five washers in the cup. So the force field, it extends a little bit, but it seems to get much weaker the further we go out. So we're gonna try um, using four chips this time, plus the plastic cup, and we'll see how many washers it holds. Um, so here comes the four chips coming on underneath the cup. And again, we're testing the strength or distance that that force field goes. And so putting the washers in, there's number two and number three, and it broke the force field. So the magnetic force field for these tiny little magnets that I'm using in, in my home science office, they don't extend all that far. They only extend a short distance. However, um, they can extend uh, through paper. So this is not a magic trick. This is, in fact, that I have washers on both or washers magnets on both sides of this paper and they extend through the paper magnetic force fields can can travel through glass magnetic force fields um, I have pretty thick hands but if we were at school um, I've had students be able to have the magnetic for yeah, it's gonna work so the force field can extend through my fairly thick hand if I take off the magnets on the top gravity pulls down gravity is a pulling force it pulls down that one so the magnetic force field can beat gravity and it does extend for a short distance I hope you enjoyed that exploration of how the force field extends beyond the magnets um, but only for a short distance before it loses uh, its power so we are going to be exploring 
how those magnets happen again today, reviewing that it's the magnetic domains. It's those bits and pieces that are inside the magnet. Those three things, iron, nickel, and cobalt, are the only three elements that we know of that can um, get those domains where the, the forces are lined up in a straight line and it creates that attractive force and repelling force. We'll be exploring that further today and then moving on from what magnets have taught us about the natural world as we progress through this week.